Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay and welcome to my channel where you can learn all about affiliate marketing. Today we're going to talk about why your sales funnel is not working. Maybe you have developed or created this beautiful sales funnel. You've gone through all the steps. You, you've done everything. You've gone through training and, you, and, and it's just beautiful, but it's not working. The number one reason why it probably isn't working is because you haven't created a marketing plan. You can have something beautiful maybe you make clothes you know beautiful sweaters they're not going to sell unless you have a marketing plan to sell them does that make sense it's a little bit more concrete um, so let's talk about building a, a marketing plan i'm going to give you five different tips the first tip in building a marketing plan is you have to decide who you're selling to and i know you hear this over and over and over but i promise you it is something that you really have to think about you really have to get it ingrained into your head who am i selling to who wants what i have now you might think yeah but i'm selling things for health and fitness everybody wants that um how can i define that you you've heard this before if you sell to everybody then you sell to nobody so you have to really narrow it down your audience of who you're targeting and talk to them speak to them and here's a perfect example in health and fitness let's say you're um, offering some exercises in health and fitness and trying to get people to exercise and join your facebook group and things like that you're going to talk to a group of 20 year olds differently than you're going to talk to a different group of 50 year olds so there's a good example um there there's just more that a 20 year old could do than a 50 year old in general i'm using general terms men are different than women men work out differently than women yes there's a few that can probably women that can keep up that's great but in general there's differences um there's also differences in maybe where people live i you know maybe what's available to them so what part of the country they're from things like that so think about your audience who you want to target now a lot of people target people that are just like them not everybody but a lot of people do because you are who you are and it's easy to talk to people that are like you right so that just makes sense but really think about it and think about what problems you're trying to solve for them and write it down i started a whiteboard on some of these key things that i know that are important for my marketing part of my business i put it on a whiteboard so i never deviate because i know throughout my time of building my business i might have said well this is who i'm going to target and i had it in my head and then two months later somebody might ask me and then off the cuff i'm coming up with a different answer so i've put all these important topics and points on my whiteboard and i go over them i look at them constantly so i know who i am who i'm talking to and what problems i'm solving and i can always erase them and change them as i go if i want to refine them number two you want to research your competitors because you the, what you're offering is important there's billions of people out there but you want to see how they're offering it and who's successful what are they doing that's successful now important point you don't want to copy them you might pick up tips from them but you don't want to copy them you want to somehow take the best of five or six different competitors and put that together and add two or three more things that make it even better all while you're being you and i know that sounds crazy but you're going to find as you look at different competitors you're going to find i know for me i found people that i related to um, i had people i followed and maybe i think oh I, I i just don't connect with that person i don't want to do what they're doing they're successful but that's not who i am um, so you know i just kind of kept a list i try to always go with number five i go with five people um, that I that I, I keep up on and watch especially on YouTube because that's where my uh, main platform is number three make a list of your goals and again you might say well my goal is just to get started okay if some of your goals are just to get started then get started and maybe some of your goals are just I want to build a YouTube channel then build it actually a year ago um, I, I know when you're building your business, there's so many things you have to do. My, I was spinning. I was like jumping from this to that, to this and that, all of it's important. And, but at the time I didn't know what had to come first. Um, I've worked with a mentor. Now I know the steps that have to come first. And I probably never would have figured that out if I didn't have somebody more knowledgeable than me telling me, but a year ago i didn't know what to focus on i just remember thinking i'm just going to build my youtube channel and that's the one thing at that time that was my main focus i never deviated from it and what i learned from it 
even though it happened by chance, what I learned from it was when I make my goals, when I write them down and I know that this is a goal, then I'm more apt to do it. It can be financial goals, it can be work goals, but whatever your goals are, write them down and then stick to them. And don't deviate, don't go out and start looking at shiny objects and trying to do other things. Stick with your goals. Number four, research the marketing tactics that you want to use in your business. And what do I mean by this? Well, what social media platforms do you want to be on? Um, while you'll see a lot of the gurus are on all of them, remember they have a staff of people working behind them and helping them be in all those places at one time. If you're brand new and you have no money and you really aren't sure what you're doing, then only pick one platform. That's my advice. Um, I know in the beginning I kept hearing, you gotta be on the platforms, you gotta be posting. I spent hours posting and not for no reason, um, but that's what I was being told. Um, I recommend that you pick one platform and become a master with it and let that be your main platform and learn everything you can about it and that's where you're going to drive your um, get your traffic from um, do you want to do email marketing um, if you're not sure what that is i do have an email marketing series a playlist at the end of this video that you can check out and learn about email marketing do you want to do that? Do you want to pay for ads? Um, there's people that I don't, <laughs> I don't have any training on that, but um, Facebook ads, Google ads, find somebody that's good at it, find out everything you can and put that in your plan. Um, what about webinars? Is that something you want to eventually do? Do you want to eventually start a podcast? Write down all your marketing goals and then you can start putting them in order. You can't obviously create every single one of them at once, but put them in some kind of an order of which ones you're working on and then just start, they'll start melding together. You'll start adding a little bit more as you become good at things. But, and again, these are things that you can change and you refine and you get better at, but for today, what are your goals? What, what are the things that you want to use for your marketing? And number five, set a budget. And I think this is really important because, oh gosh, I was on a Facebook group probably about a month ago. And one of the gentle, somebody came in, I don't remember their name, but they said, I have spent thousands of dollars and I have been following so-and-so and so-and-so. And, -so, and I bought this, this, and this, and they shared everything they bought, which was all the tools were the good tools, but they said, I have done everything that I've been told to do and I have not made a dime and I'm in debt. And it, not making a dime, I thought, you know, a lot of people don't make a lot of money at first. There's always that you break through. But what bothered me was that this person went so severely into debt. So my advice to you with your budget, what I mean by this is, if you're just starting out, like, okay, let's say you wanna start out on YouTube, you don't have to go out and buy a thousand dollar camera to get started. You can use your phone. Your phone has a video capability. You, if you have a laptop already, that's all you need. And you don't have to go out and buy lighting and all this other stuff. Sure, there's some wonderful things, some cool things. People make, you know, little studios and things like that, and it becomes a lot of fun. But if you're just starting out, you don't have that luxury. So start out with your basics, okay? And stay within your budget. Um, what about let's say you're going to buy a program there's programs out there you want to get into e now let's not use email marketing email marketing usually the programs start out 15 bucks a month and they go up as you build your list which i think is great and um, they know that you're making more money as you build your list but let's say um i'm trying to think of a program okay vidIQ vidIQ is a seo tool that you use with youtube and starting out it's like nine dollars a month well there's a uh, an elite program that's like $50 a month. Well, if you're brand new, I do believe they even have a free one. If you're brand new, start out with the free program. And then if you make a little bit of money, you can say, okay, I'm going to pay for um, a year and pay $90 with vidIQ. And then later, if you start making more money, you can get the, the better program. But what I'm trying to tell you is don't go out and buy the top model of everything when you don't one can't afford it and two you don't need it you don't need those things until you grow that's why they have the different levels you grow as you go okay so those are my five tips i hope those were helpful for you um now that you have all of this and you have your sales funnel now it will start to 
create results for you. Now, if you're just listening to this and you don't have a sales funnel, you don't know what I'm talking about, I have put a video, um, I'll put a video right up here that you can go ahead and watch uh, that I just made yesterday, a couple days ago actually, and it talks about sales funnels and why you might want one and use one. I also have a link below if you would like to check a sales funnel out. Um, there's some a 30 day challenge training that you can check out and put it all together and you can have a business all right if you have your sales funnel and a plan a marketing plan to promote your products then you, you can be successful it won't work without it you can't have the beautiful product you can't have that nice sweater that you knit it sitting there on your counter and if you're not pushing it you're not promoting it you're not marketing it nobody's going to buy it so think of it that way all right thank you for listening i hope this was helpful don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on the next video